for my lovely community, we have a day that is a new planetary year. Happy Galactic New Year. And we also begin this lovely new year with our Lionsgate portal, which lasts until the 12th of August, and it peaks on the 8th. Yesterday was the day out of time. And that is amazing because it's an energy portal that is this rainbow bridge between us and the spiritual dimensions. And we have a channeled guidance on that on our audio podcast, not on YouTube. You can go to Spotify, iHeartRadio, Spotify for podcasters, Amazon Music, a bunch of platforms. And uh, this day out of time, it gave us the opportunity to connect with and clear the past and uh, to create a better future. Now, that is the beauty of being a 5D mystic, which is we don't look at the spiritual dimension the way the 4D or 3D do because they actively perpetuate what is trauma charges as adaptive child and or maladaptive child pattern behaviors. So this is not evil, demons, the Lucifer. No, that actively is what 3D, 4D talk about. Now, science shares with us what every human being on the face of this planet, at least I'm here for personal development, self-help and true spirituality, which is a life of meaning and connection beyond the solo self. So you are spiritually awakened the minute that you are conceived and going to get born. And then we have also, yes, Akashic Record readings. I know all about that because I'm one of them. I'm also a Reiki master and I'm a tarot oracle card reader. However, I don't clear your adaptive child behavior or maladaptive child behavior. You know why? Because even though I can clear the charges, the charges are only one part of the situation, which is what the 4D doesn't understand or 3D, but that's where we leave Cusco's alone because their state of consciousness is like Cusco, and that is like the adaptive child. And you know what Terry Real shares about the adaptive child part of every person, everyone who doesn't move out of their 16-year-old, that's your oldest child charge part. That's a basic one-on-one 101. Okay, basic 101. We all have a one year old attached, panicky, three to seven, shame submissive, freeze of all ages, flight 11, 12, and fight 14, 15, 16. The charged parts of you, I learned them from Sue Martin, and I like the charged parts because the child part is what I'm using as a word because it's more used, but it's charged. And you'll notice it. I noticed my 16 year old, my three year old, my one year old, but I'm a whole self. That's what the 5D collective is. So we're going to in honor of this lovely new planetary year because the 5D collective are people who know that that spiritual dimension is first of all you, your body, the divine feminine, and your mind is your divine masculine. And then everything else comes. Now, if you're not a divine masculine or a divine feminine of yourself, well, you got a masculine here and you got a feminine here. And your masculine is the left mode of your brain to sell Maria, your lovely host and content creator, and the person who you will do maybe one-to-one mentor or ask Maria or maybe the master class. So I am the person who's creating the words as a content creator and an online entrepreneur and as the person who does all of it. (laughs) So here's the deal. When you want data, you go to the effective data people, which is one very much going to be dry if they're doing it the right way and that's going to be in a lot of peer reviews as well and stuff like that so specific sources when you come on internet that's where you can meet different types of professionals okay just so we're clear so it's about not becoming if you don't want you can if you want the flatter other people and then if you want you can stay in 3d 4d land but that means you're going to be a low self-esteem not knowing healthy boundaries, passive aggressive, indirect communicator, who also doesn't know what it really means to stick around and and be in a relationship, as you're going to know how to come in and out of each other's lives and do push-pull and have a bunch of unfinished business relationships, which makes me think of my dramatic human beings around out there who basically say, you know, Maria, love never lasts. Because people get tired of each other. You know, Maria, love never lasts because people, they don't love. They, they, they don't love. I know it. I've known it my entire life. You know, Maria, I don't believe in love. 
And then you see all these people getting into different relationships. You know, Maria, I've been betrayed too many times. I don't trust anyone. So when I, anytime somebody has a story from the ancient times, that means, excuse me, from the past, that they didn't clear away, that they didn't take the spiritual stuff from in here. So see what I'm saying? Okay, we can use words many different ways, but spiritual, spirituality, it's a life of meaning and connection beyond the solo self. So you're a self. Get your whole self together. Oh, there's a song that was going to come through. Okay, and on that note, this is the part of where, let me read a little bit, and then we'll talk some more. The burdens of the past, they are cleared as you make way for the joy that comes from having reclaimed all those child parts, parts of self, parts of you. So like I said, I don't use the charged parts because I know that it's not as known, but the charge is they stay charged as long as you don't witness with self-awareness and self-accountability and regulation. So you are going to want to have a window of welcome to your emotions. If you say I have laundry and I do only suffering, there's a human suffering love narrative group somewhere out there with 3D, 4D and the adaptive child behavior. <clears throat> okay, here we do emotion and we don't believe in sacrifice. We all sacrifice if we have to really put it that way because we all have a one-year-old who is like a little hummingbird full of fire and they don't know anything. And in that first year of life, if that something sacred is taken out of them, they don't have the wings to fly or the fire. They just think sacrifice. Oh, everything in life is sucks. I'm going to say this way with avoidant attachment because people are fucked up. That's what you see from people who have adaptive child patterns or maladaptive child patterns because the orgies, the fucking, the drinking, the drugging, that seems cool. So in the meantime, they want to blame Lucifer and they want to blame evil and villains. I'm going to say there's no one to blame. That's part of the shame cycle. And that's also part of people who are separated in the consciousness of their brain because, no, it's you go get good trauma therapy, get healed. So when people don't want to, it's because it's hard for some. But if they have healthy self-worth people to say, we're here, we'll keep you in check. We're, we're all part of the same earth. You're not cursed. You're not cursed. Nobody's cursed. Humans are not a curse. And then the serpent is an animal. Please leave the serpent alone. It sheds skin. It's not meant to be seen as an evil thing. 3D community, nor is Reiki, by the way, nor is yoga. No demons coming out of you. It's your charges. Hello, anybody got educated by any chance? Nah. So there are some storytellers. They're not educated. You'll notice that. 3D, 4D. They call spiritual dimension, and then they tell you that volcanoes and earthquakes are happening because, you know, demons are angry at us or something like that. Or maybe it's because it's a Luciferian era. I've heard that one. That one was fascinating. I was like, it's not the Luciferian era. There's a bunch of people that need good childhood trauma therapy, and they do things like, you still talking about that trauma stuff, said the emotionally unavailable person, the one who doesn't build intimate relationships, the one who basically demonstrates projection, the adaptive child behavior, and the one who, there's another one, Patrick Tian, I don't remember it, but long story short, yeah, that's not the 5D collective. We're like, hey, stop, we're not cursed. And yeah, we make mistakes. Are you not flawed and imperfect? I know I am, but I do have a lot of answers to a lot of things. No, I don't, only to being you. And people don't want to be their authentic self all the time, which is why welcome for you who wants to be yourself and welcome yourself home with unconditional love, with flaws, integrity, and a life of meaning and connection that lives beyond the solo self. And that's the true spirituality journey. So 5D mystics come on over. A solo self that has a core self, a narrative self, relational self, and you. The person who owns visibility of all thoughts and emotions and behaviors that come up through your mind's self-awareness, accountability, and regulation skills. Because that's what the left and right do together as the owner so with your sense of self and wholeness and a clear sense of self lens, that's important because even the ones who are healing, they know how to handle their stuff and to share with us what stuff we want to expect and how to work with them. And that is why with this uh, whole sense of self and this clear self lens, use your name and knowing how you want to be with integrity you know secure attachment and healthy self-worth. And so you're able to use a functional adult behavior and love language in all of your relationships. And this means that you get to heal trauma one person at a time and one relationship at a time. 
but it's for those people who are seeking to welcome their whole self back. If somebody doesn't want to welcome their one-year-old back, they're not going to be around you necessarily. So when their unresolved trauma comes up, the ones for healing, the traumatic behaviors, emotions, and thoughts, they welcome having you or I, a 5D collective, safe haven, secure base, secure attachment, functional adult person, and relationship in their life. And it is thanks to you offering a relationship where safe haven and secure base are given that you build genuine heart-to-heart relationships that last a lifetime as secure connections and or secure attachment figure relationships, whether they are romantic or friendship, polyamory or monoamory, business or family, and so forth, right? Or polyamorous, monoamorous. And so the 5D collective, mystic or person, They love to build genuine relationships where feelings and thoughts are shared openly, where you get to be you and other gets to be other, where two differentiated selves come together with wholeness and healthy self-worth and no healthy boundaries are conversations and behaviors as functional adults. So healing trauma one person at a time and relationship at a time here at IHP because we're a community of functional adults who are self-aware, accountable, and regulating. And we use love and patience when working through processing trauma, since that is very important to expand our window of tolerance. And that's what people need that are getting out of the adaptive child, maladaptive child pattern stuff. Okay. And so expanding the window of tolerance as you witness process and by processing, it's talking or journaling and coming together and being a herd that is like a Sid, Diego and Manny. They're not perfect. Pacha, Cusco, none of us are perfect. So nobody is always on top of that game, meaning that you have everything, okay? Emotions are part of it. But as you mature and as you gain physical mastery, you can consistently be that safe haven, secure base for yourself and notice when people point out. And so you take feedback and you use it and you enjoy expanding with others. And so that's that infinite Fibonacci, higher human conscious potential experience that you get to enjoy because you get to keep on expanding with your loved ones which is also why we don't have sagas or drama with our twin flames and our oversoul. We don't lose people. We have more people, the 5D mystics. The 5D functional adult, they might have a different way they have relationships. And so <clears throat> you uh, expand your window tolerance, you witness, process, and heal completely, welcoming yourself home piece by piece. The emotional charges and trauma, they are taking seriously and they have no shortcuts And that is where you're using your prefrontal cortex when you're witnessing, processing, and in a safe space, sharing. And it's also important to note that while some people will actively repeat their patterns of behavior, what I want to share is that you need healthy self-worth people because they're the ones who are going to have the patience, love, and be genuinely not mad at you as well as tell you, hey... Did you do that thing again? Because I think you did. Or maybe tell it to you in a, in a very different way. And uh, the people who love you, they will not cut you out of their life. People who know how to love like a functional adult. Because they will have the capacity to have an open heart. And then they will also, in IHP, be attachment trauma-informed because I'm attachment trauma-informed. And I give you the explanation of why a biologically rude person is not to be held accountable with shame, blame, fault, or envy, jealousy, revenge, low self-esteem emotions that others do when they're saying to, you know, cut cords and cut people out and all that, all of that blocking and friending, all of that, you lose people, all of that, spiritual bypassers, mantles of mental health. It's all people that are on the fourth wheel of their healing and they haven't. They stand around like Braveheart with their trust breaks and their decision that, That's a good group. That's a bad group. And then they do that. And they're modulated, by the way, embodied self. So they're not self-aware in a way of saying, let me get out of it. In fact, there are those who come to the classes that I have taken. You can tell they can't hear because they ask, hey, I want a shortcut for that DID stuff and disorganized attachment. I don't want it to take six to seven years for myelin and the head to the brain to do the thing. No, give me three years. I actively got to witness People who are grown-ups act as the children that I saw as a teenager do this shit. And I'm like, huh? I spent money. Why are you interrupting the subject matter expert with a 
second time around when they told you the first time around there's no shortcuts. You don't believe them? No, you didn't hear what you wanted to hear, and you didn't get what you wanted to get. So you're here to get what you want to get, which is a shortcut because you want to sell a shortcut. You're going to say, I took that course. Here's my educational certificate. And now I can tell you that I can get you here. Like the shaman who says, don't go to therapy. Come to me. I will heal 10 years of therapy. Bullshit, shaman. You shouldn't be saying that, shamanic whoever. I forget his title. I'm thinking that's not how it works. You're not going to be the, the person who has a person self-reflect in a human way. In fact, that's the whole, why they become spiritual bypassers because then they get into what is it it's that ego but ego self at the end of the day it's an adaptive child like a Cusco's got an attitude who thinks they're more that they got the magic wand and the answer to it all and again i want to take it back a notch 3d 4d their states of consciousness they choose their stuff as long as you know they have a crowd and that's with lost boys lost girls lost days people want shortcuts to doing self-help, personal development, and then also for trauma, there are no shortcuts. That part, I would hope that it's pretty straightforward. But then again, I don't know. But the self-help, personal development, I can say that that is where some people can think there are shortcuts. I've seen apps and I've seen people offer that, and uh, there isn't a shortcut to be yourself <laughs> with emotions and thoughts because it's something, again, you don't need anyone. However, how good are you at living uncertainty, unwanted, unexpected from your heart? Is it open or not? And from flow while going with the flow, which are the main modules, by the way, of the inner growth mindset. But the part about needing, nobody needs anyone. No, you do. You're a mammal. You don't learn to self-regulate by yourself. In fact, loneliness kills more people than cigarettes or alcohol or something, or heart attacks. I forget. There's a study. And that's the bullshit line that people say. Nah, love doesn't exist. People don't stay. Nah, if you're saying that, it's because you had that autobiographical memory experience from your childhood, your first three years of life matter, all of your young years. So your heartbreak, your trust break, not love, not people, not all humanity, not Lucifer, evil, devil. You use all the words you want. You're making up shit in your mouth, quote unquote, for a person who's educated with the human stuff. I got more educated because I help people to be their self comes with the territory of doing seriously what you do, whether a content creator or mentor, why would I remain uneducated? In fact, I'm happy to be here for 5D Mystics because I was so beyond my mind with the 4D. And then at a certain point, I was even more beyond my mind. But we'll save that for our next episode. And that is where we will be talking about life partnerships and divine feminine and divine masculine. And FYI, yes, Twin Flame and Flames are a real deal. No, we don't have sagas or dramas with them. But that's because the securely attached functional adult isn't a person who gives their hearts to say, you are mine, by expecting that I keep you with a cord. <laughs> so we don't have expectations. We unconsciously love and we are vulnerable because what is life without romance? <laughs> so yeah. The twin flame doesn't have to be a romantic anything, but I will tell you in my experience, my twin flame and flames, it's more than just friends. And that's it. Now, you grow, you change. Mm, some people, depends. And uh, some people don't. Because see, to change, you need to expand consciousness. And now I'm playing with words because I don't feel change. But we'll get back to that one in the next episode. So you can tune in if you want. If not, thank you for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, if you do know someone who does want to do self-help, personal development, if they are inclined to be a 5D mystic and so spirituality, calls to them to live a life of meaning and connection beyond the solo self and to be a member of our lovely human herd. And then to support all, all nature, the ecosystem, everything, but with our wits. And so we listen to different types of pieces of information. We're friends with 3D, 4D, Cusco, squirrels, you name it. They're all here. <laughs> okay, but the difference is we definitely have our crew, and they're all the ones who are wanting to be hot shop. I was going to say blue, but no. They want to be their whole self. They want to share with us joyfully their whole three-year-old heart. They want to return home to... Akash, the humanity that is within every person. I was going to say another word, but I won't do, I won't do that one. 
because that's not how it works in that in that plane anyways but uh, heaven in the body so heaven is first of all here that garden um and it continues here and then it expands here and it continues to support life and our planet is our home and we know that we make mistakes because nobody is their biggest mistake but ignorance is what we were and we're still ignorant because we don't know everything not at all and we won't we won't i don't think so no i have my future life you all know this so in my future future life i'm not maria but it's when uh, earth is finally done its cycle and the long story short is that the mean people of my dream they're not mean they're scientists and they're trying to figure out if there's a way for them to extend and make life you know how they they always seek that elixir of life right the like el dorado that cartoon and it's more than that right i think that there are people that were looking to live forever or something like that so the experiment is not something that's allowed by the galactic there's a balance with life and that is the part that i never like remembering that there's a there's a infinity so like sad guru he knows where we're at with this cycle if you meet a yogi they will tell you that all ends in darkness and that darkness is where light comes from and i will be very light with this because i saw a woman in the crowd and get really sad and upset and i don't want to upset anyone plus it's not provable remember it's all bullshit it's all bullshit just keep it in mind food for thought some random lady on online okay so please take it with that it's imagination um but like I was saying from my dream, I, I noticed that they were doing this thing and I knew intuitively in this, it's an astral travel, it's not a dream, it's my future. But again, I can I, I will use the word dream because it was while I was sleeping in nighttime <laughs> and it's not provable. But um, intuitively something was off and I knew that they were not allowed to do what they were doing because it was not approved. And in fact, uh, there's a continuation that I got the honor to have of my dream because I met a person <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop with the woo stuff because I do love my future and the story, but I'm going to share it in the next episode. It's more ideal. And so, yeah, um, life has a beginning and it has an end. And anyone who is aware of when you get to be in form, because you also know what formless is, formlessness. And so you know that being completely one with consciousness is the absence of form is the absence of me being able to share a handshake is the absence of me being able to share a hug it's the absence of us being here well anyone i mean that's the whole point of why i love to speak i love to share life tangible life and um never gets old it always feels like i'm saying the same thing that's how it feels <laughs> and i know i'm not but it feels not changed whatsoever just expanded i love learning more and i love sharing it and i love being a mystic <laughs> because sciences they're pretty boring no they're not they're magical too i love having sciences actually and and that i'm able to understand the quantum physics at least some of it to bring it in but yeah like I was saying, life has a beginning and an end. That guru knows about it. Any person that is in this oneness will know about it. And um, it is something for me, because I enjoy life, I don't like darkness in the sense that I, I don't like to be unconscious completely. You know, like when you're down, <laughs> not, not, the, uh, not the stuff that is from within us. Meaning like when you are in complete absence of being. Um, but again, I digress and I'm keeping you longer than I want to. So thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again in a little bit.